course, Stay Solid Rocky would blow up on TikTok with his track Party Girl and would clock in 22 million views on YouTube at the time of this recording. I mean, it depends. Really, there's no specific party girl. If a girl like to have fun, she like to party, she a party girl. It's either you is or you're not. If you want to be a party girl, then come over here and join the team or something. Like, come with the, you know, like we got a bunch of them. Before Stay Solid Rocky would ink a deal with Columbia Records and would clock in 120,000 subscribers on YouTube and around 50K on Instagram. Now, first off, I think this is a first here on this channel. An artist actually films the before footage knowing that one day they'd be featured on this channel. Nice. The rock for the road before fame. I'm gonna make it. You better believe that. Watch. Just watch. I'm um, gonna rap. I'm only 14 right now. I'm not really in the mood right now to be rapping. Well, they say you said if you're a real rapper, you don't have to be in the mood. Stay solid, Rocky. He's got a massive hit on his hands with Party Girl. Now, it popped off on his personal YouTube channel, clocking in 2 million views before it spread over to TikTok. Now, from there, it made its way to the radio. I actually heard it in my car today. And now the song, it's shooting up the Billboard Hot 100. It started out at the number 84 spot, then it zoomed up to number 64, then 48, and now 38. Damn! Damn! The kid signed to Columbia Records and is now working with Solomon Sabondi, the former manager of XXX. Not bad for a kid who's only 19 years old. Damn! I just told my ex that I love her, I ain't forget her. If I put my mans on his mission, will he go snitch it? Will you reach out to me when you see me acting distant? What's going on guys? It's your boy Michael McCredden documenting the life and career of Stay Solid Rocky prior to fame. Here for you of course and before they're famous. All right, so there are a few things that we used to do on this channel that worked really well, which was when you guys suggested which artist for me to document next. Now for Stay Solid Rocky, we only got about three requests, and I'm gonna need more than that just to keep this channel popping. So you guys, you can hit us up in the comments down below. You can also text me or DM me. The more requests, the better the video does. So let's get back to business. All right, I also reached out to Stay Solid Rocky in the DMs, and it gave me approval to make this video. I can't believe we found that footage. All right, now let's get into this one. Hey, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell. Boom! Stay Solid Rocky was born to Rack Figueroa in San Antonio, Texas around 2001, and he grew up in Richmond, Virginia. Now he told FOMO Blog, I'm from San Antonio, Texas. I lived in Texas for 13 to 14 years. Then I moved to South Carolina for two to three years. I finally came to Virginia when I was around 15 or 16. I went to high school in Virginia. Now he comes from a rather large family having six siblings. Again, he told FOMO Blog. Well, when I lived with my mom, there was only four of us. It was a normal everyday struggle, surrounded by poverty and all that my mom did what she could. We relocated when I was in the sixth grade. We moved out of San Antonio to a small little town in Texas called San Angelo. That's really my first time getting out of San Antonio, traveling and experiencing different things. It opened my mind up more rather than being stuck on one side of town. My mom didn't have a car, so we couldn't go anywhere. It helped us experience new things. Now growing up, his mom, she would play a ton of Bone Thugs and Harmony and Lil Wayne, and she herself was once upon a time a rapper. Then when he started to discover new artists on his own, he began listening to Kevin Gates, who had a huge influence on him. There was also NBA Youngboy, Kodak Black, and of course, Drizzy Drake. When it comes to music, we'll stay solid. He started freestyling as a young kid, as far back as he could remember. For his stage name, well, his mom had always called him Rocky, but he was still going by his birth name because there was no one else that he knew by the name of Dirac. Now, we even had an Instagram account called Da Rock, but it got deleted, so then he had to make a new one, and that's when he came up with the moniker of Stay Solid Rocky. Now, the kid was good at networking and making contacts on social media. He would let everyone know his plans on making it in music, and having lived in so many places will allow him to have a few contacts in different pockets all over the country. Now, at 15, he started to write down some rhymes, and speaking on these early days, he stated, I wasn't able to go to the studio how I wanted to at first, as soon as I got older and got more money, then I started being able to access the studio. Now his friend, he had a studio in his house so he would write at home, vibe with it, and sometimes experiment with it on his social media. He would drop tracks to his followers, and this is something that he did with Party Girl. Now needless to say, the reaction for this one, it was crazy. Now he first came up with the idea for the song in July of 2019, and the song, it's loosely based on a relationship that he's had. He stated, I was on the phone with this one girl. She was into all the wrong things. So that's where the idea came from. I took that idea and ran with it. Then I pulled emotions from my current situation, from my relationship problems. I mixed them all in there. Honey, cars, all that is materialistic. I could go get that easily. You know, I could, you know, grind. If I grind right, I'm gonna get it. With love, you could do everything right. You That don't mean you're gonna get it. 
Love is way deeper than anything else on this world. Love, that's some crazy shit. I know, I don't, I don't know, bro. Love, that's some other, that's a whole other shit right there. <laughs> <laughs> now the song had dropped in September of 2019 and he filmed the music video in December. Now it turns out that the video shoot, it was a bit of a shit show and Rocky, well he didn't really enjoy it. Now speaking about the whole situation, he stated, I hated the video shoot, I was mad, too much going on. More people were supposed to come, we only had two days to get ready for the video shoot. The way I set it up, everything just ugh. But my best memory? Well, this is my first video shoot ever. That's my only one. So he said, all right, what I like to do is start off with the artist and get some solo shots. We go from there. He said he was gonna have a photographer with him. We start shooting the music video, got the music playing. He's like, go sit on the couch to get some solo shots. So I'm thinking he's taking pictures. Whole time he's recording me, the music playing, and he's like, why are you not moving? Why are you just sitting there? I'm like, I thought you were taking pictures. That's the funniest part. Now the song had found success on YouTube prior to its explosion on TikTok with 2 million views. Now at the time, he would have been happy with just 50K, but it just kept on growing. Once it got to a million, well that's when Solomon Sabandi, the former manager of XXXTentacion, well he hit up Rocky in the DMs, telling him that he thought he had a hit on his hands. Now next up was Columbia Records, and previous to this, well Rocky was actually working in customer support, and he had just lost his job. So everything seems to have fallen into place perfectly for the kid. Now I'm seeing big things in his future, and I guess we're gonna be keeping an eye on him. And when he blows up even bigger, that's when we'll update this video with more information. As always, you guys gotta let me know who's next in the comments down below. I wanna see some suggestions. Of course, you can text me, you can DM me. If you're new, be sure to subscribe. Check out the merch at michaelmccrudden.com or beforetheyarefamous.com. Check out our new Instagram, beforetheyarefamous. All right, see you guys in another video. Boom! All right guys, so we have more information on Rocky. We'll be updating that video, but while I got you guys here, I want to talk to you guys about merch because I haven't really been pushing it and we put a lot of work into building up a brand. Now we're just getting started, but I actually like put in the work and spent the bucks to make sure that we got some high quality stuff. This is like the same line that Travis Scott pushes, but obviously we put our own logos on it. And we're just starting out, so like obviously there's like some before they're famous stuff. You can get t-shirts, you can get hoodies, you can do the rich life if that's, if that's your jam. Uh, I've been wearing this one a lot, it's crazy because people like, think it's me, but then when I wear this, they're like, it's the guy. It's the before they're famous guy. And then of course, then we made some stuff that wasn't on brand, like some fashionable styles. So we just like threw on the uh, the clouds and the cliffs. We also got um, Fame Gang. So some of them have uh, like Fame Gang in the back, which I really like. I think it's dope front and back. Uh, and then we got backpacks. I went and got some champion backpacks. So uh, kids will be kicking these around school, which is great. We're gonna work on new lines like before I was famous for you guys. We were just talking that we should get some pendants, like some chains. But for now, we got all this stuff up for sale at uh, michaelmccrudden.com or beforetheyarefamous.com. There's also a sexy lady. This one's a little risque. If you're a child, don't buy this one because she's, uh, she's a mannequin, but she's topless. Uh, oh, throw me that. And then if you just wanna like check out there's other stuff like notepads and USBs and like all sorts of cool stuff. We really appreciate the sport. Um, obviously YouTube, it's different than it was when we started. So you can't just rely on YouTube revenue. You gotta sell some stuff. You gotta do whatever the hell you can to keep going. So uh, we appreciate all those who uh, check out the link down below, those who place a purchase. Helps us out a lot. And then we know you guys are like the, the true hardcore fans. And uh, I'm just so like humbled and appreciative of all the support. So thanks so much guys. I can't wait to see a few of you guys out there wearing this stuff. All right, see you, see you guys later, bye.